Hello everyone and welcome back to Space City and City Skylines where we currently have a population of 45,500. Uh, we've got 3 million bucks in the bank and we have a little bit of industrial demand but not a whole lot of other demand. Well, I mean this is all very valuable and all. Maybe we should make another suburb. I mean like what one out here near the beach. Maybe that would be good. We've got a road here. Um, there's some steep slopes that I can barely see right now. But okay, let's try and make a... Let's make it this size. And it'll have its own little uh, businesses and such, I think. Power will need to be a thing. Um, I'm. We have so much power capacity right now that I'm loath to... Oh, we've got uh, some place here that doesn't have water. Yeah, you know, running a power line all the way down is just not going to happen, so... Let's see, we'll have some temporary wind turbines. You know what, we'll move it from elsewhere so that they don't have any noise. They don't need the wind turbines here anymore. Beats me how people work at the water treatment plant when... There isn't otherwise a road to it. We happen to have a road to this fishing pier, but that's about it. See, which I noticed the new DLC that's coming out. I don't know if I want it yet. I've got all the others though, so it would be sort of a shame not to have it. Uh, not really sold on it yet. Okay, that should be enough for starters. For now, we'll put the office space close to the wind turbines. They'll act as a buffer. So yeah, they'll have their own little police station. Uh, maybe the, uh, some parks first. Okay, so that's a little community there. Starting up. Uh, we, I also wanted a sort of environmentalist community up here. Uh, hippies and such. Artists, that sort of thing. In the middle of the woods. Which we will preserve. But still within view of the Space Center because of course. Of course they would want to be inspired by the space things. I think this road can be upgraded. That'll be a more important road. And uh, we should connect it up to stuff over here too. Okay, we've got trains going on, lots of trains, that's good. But now we must respect the wilderness. Let's uh, have minimal... Minimal roads. We've got a new report for our campus. 3,000 students, but attractiveness is down. Wish I really understood this attractiveness thing. Got four academic works. 9,000 white bedsheets were appropriated by students for this year's toga party. Parties, jeez. It's a lot. Nobody's moved into this area. That's sort of not surprising. Let's uh, see if we can add some more office space here. I mean, it doesn't seem like a good place for people to move into. It's sort of backed up, isn't it? Um, let's give them some other way to go around. Obviously the train is getting in the way. We should uh, have sort of built that higher. Hmm. Like this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so now it's underground completely. Then we can move this garland bridge that we don't need to be a bridge. Eh, definitely better to run the trains underground, darn it. I think people have discovered this a long time ago. Oh, and let me get another road here. This is way busier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh no, that's definitely not right. Stop that, stop that. Well, marginally better. Okay. 49,000 now, that was quick. Let's see how our little town is going over here. 
Okay. Well, it's an interesting community. Yep, not too sure about the identity of this community yet. Traffic is busy, but it's not horrible, horrible. There's a bit of a... I think those are just parked cars there. Wasn't there a parking garage somewhere, I think? Okay, let's take a look at essential services. I see some dead people. Uh, landfill usage is 100%. Um, hmm... I don't know what's abandoned right there, but okay. Mm. Well, we're not using this area right now. I'm gonna put a landfill there, and I'm gonna get some more recycling centers. There's some sick people too in Bossert City. Well, I'm gonna empty this landfill site as well. Um, this seems really busy. Okay, that was our secondary way of getting people through into the city. Um, let's get... Uh, oh no, that... Yeah, that was a secondary way. That's not good right now. Trains are backed up too. Okay. Uh, some of them will go this way, but probably not enough. What is going on? Look at what is going on here. Ambulances. That's a robotics institute. Why are like all the ambulances? Oh, there's a, these trains. Uh oh. Um, we've got a serious problem there. Uh, the ambulances can't get through. That's a no-no. Well, let's get the train line going underneath again. Okay. Should have just put everything underneath in the first place. Don't know why I didn't think about that. Okay, this one can go over. That's fine. And then now this one can go underneath. Yeah, we, uh, here we need it to go above ground, though. Okay, let's see if that's better, and then we need to rebuild the boulevards. Well, potentially not the best land usage still, but probably better. I don't know, we'll see. I hope the trains aren't unhappy with me. They were essential to our everything. Okay, unpause. Ambulances can go now. Free flow of ambulances. Important to us. Um, well, I'll just have to trust that the trains are doing what they're supposed to be doing, or can I... I need to be able to follow a train. Slow down. Uh, 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 no, no, let me follow. Okay. Oh. Why is it stopped? See, you should show me to me underground. I, I can't go into underground view now. Oh, we should probably link those that power up. It doesn't seem to be moving here. Oh, I was just waiting for another one. It's a tight turn, though. We need more... more lines then, huh? Especially to cross river lines. Okay. Well, that's haphazard. We've got this one going like that. Why are you so backed up? 
I hope somebody uses this other one. That's haphazard. Alright. Or creative. It's creative. Demand is pretty low right now. Our budget has been pretty stable throughout all this. So that's good. Um, let's start working on this area. So, tree lined paths. I mean, I would really like a tree lined two lane gravel road, is what we really want. But th th there's no tree lined one. But, okay, we'll turn this into a gravel road here. I mean, uh, beyond this bit. That seems very hippie. Okay, so there are a few things I wanted over here. But you know what, uh, let me take a look at that institute that we never opened. Or, you know, we... where was it? it? Might be time to open it. This one, Modern Tech Institute. I'm gonna open it. Our university, our college, I don't know what's gonna happen with it, I mean, honestly. We've got more than enough students for our current level, uh, to get to the next level though. We only need 1,800 here. So if that Modern Tech Institute takes some, that's fine. How to get a tract in this, I don't know. We've got all the academic works. Uh, uh, tuition is not quite covering our expenses right now. The upkeep is 3,000 a week. We're making a lot of dough from this. Actually, I think. Well, no, here it says weekly expenses 10,000. Income, well, it doesn't even show income here. So I'm confused. Confused about what's going on. I mean, it looks like they only play monthly games. They need to play games more often. Oh, wait, did they... Oh, they, they just won. Okay, uh, let me take a look at the campus area info now. Now it says 23,000. But if it's 10,000 a week, and they make 23,000 when they play a game, it's not covering the expenses. But anyway, at least they're doing well. Um... It seems to be the biggest variable in our budget, to be honest. Uh, we got a huge boost in weekly income because of the the game, and then other times we have a negative income. Maybe it's time to go with that police academy. I don't really want a police academy, but and, and I don't think it's under this category. Um, but I think having one will push us over. We need to have some sort of actual trade school thing. No, there's a police academy and then a school of- Oh, I actually could make a school of tourism and travel. That's better. Um, does it have a capacity of- It has a student capacity. So we could get rid of some of the other study halls. Um, that's a dorm. And then use that space for the academy. I'm gonna bulldoze this study hall here. And I'm gonna pause. Pause. And assess how much space we need. And what is this? More Giga Store, the company. Okay, so we can move this these labs over. Now, what is the orientation for our School of Tourism and Travel? Can we do this? Barely, wow, look at that. Okay. We have a School of Tourism and Travel. Okay. Well, we'll see if the School of Tourism and Travel will boost our the attractiveness of our college, hopefully. It's, it went to 9.59. I think we got 20 extra points for it. That's hardly worthwhile. We'll see. Student count is down. And that's because we opened that other school. So, that's fair. We need some more office space. Um, we'll have some over here. 
Okay, that pretty much takes care of our demand already. I was trying to do something clever over here. And what this will be built around is... Uh, there was a... Institute of Creative Arts, yes. That's what I wanted over here. But first, we need to address the power situation. Hmm, I guess... I wish we had like a, could have a little small geothermal power plant. There really are only big geothermal power plants. So we'll have like the obtrusive services over here in this clearing. Far away from them. I mean, some of it will be far away from them, like the garbage stuff. We will need to run water, of course. Water availability is getting a bit low. Let's have a... I mean, we sort of have all of our pumping stations on one side. Let's have some over here. Let's have pumping stations close to our... ...launch complex. And then we'll have the treatment plants on this side. And we can move another uh, one of those windmill uh, wind turbines for these. Let's move it up slope. That should do for now. Okay, and then we'll run the pipes up. Okay, so got the power plant there, but of course we'll want. Stuff. Ooh, we need more shops and such. Well, Liana Park is better for that sort of thing. They're not as densified as I would like. Okay, well, campus attractiveness went up by 40 points. Students went down as expected. We've got more academic works. Um, I don't think these are really working out for us. I don't see the point in having residential in what is obviously a commercial area. There's some good residential here anyway. Can we get an airport yet? Just the blimp depot. We're close though. 55,000 and we can get an airport. I want to get uh, road space for our airport and let's make a nice straight road otherwise the airport can't be built there or at least it'll cause me problems over here it's probably more industrial do they still produce anything these ore mines well we still seem to get ore it's just a trickle we just need more workers it looks like the, the, the profit isn't there, but it's supplying other industries, so, you know. Mm. Rotary kiln plant takes ore raw materials and heats them in high temperatures to form materials like iron ore pellets. That can be used in steel production. Oh, that's out of city limits. Uh, we might need to hold off on that. It's like a tiny little bit of ore here. I guess we could make use of it. Well, let's have another grinding mill. No, we need water. Okay, and... Oh yeah, let's just fill this area up with office space. The people live... up north here, in Sander Heights. Let's build that out a little bit more. Okay, so we'll get a little bit more there. I haven't named this area yet. We'll at least paint the district here and let's see what name it comes up with. Vermont Square. It's not a square. Well, I'm gonna name it after the balloonist Auguste Picard. So... Picard Beach. 
aerospace references we're going with here. Okay, Snell never did anything with this business. So, Institute of Creative Arts. There. Perfect. Of course, it doesn't have any power or anything. Uh, can we have underground power lines? No, they don't let you do underground power lines. Okay, and we don't have much demand. This will be low density. Low density. Maybe some office area near the power plant. Well, the fire will be a little bit closer. I don't have as much effect as I would like. Let's get the fire watch tower here. We sort of need people to move in to fill it out, but I guess I'll run the power lines. And it'll have some special rules. We're gonna name it after space artist Chelsea Bonestell. And so this'll be Bonestell Woods. And um, policies. Well, well, obviously recycling, free public transport, all that stuff. Mm, definitely a smoking ban. Certainly not a pet ban. Recreational use, obviously. High-rise ban. Encourage biking. I, I don't know. We should make lightning rods a city policy, though. I don't know why it costs a whole lot per building, but it should be cheap. Electric cars. Must switch to electric cars, yeah. Meteorologists are uh -oh. issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Um, lightning rods. Citizens are advised to stay um, indoors. Can we get to the city policy? I need lightning rods now. I didn't notice that before. We need lightning rods. Please. So we got a red light district going on here. Just uh, when we're on the threshold of 55,000. Why is there no power? We should run a power line from the geothermal up there. Let's just connect all of our power areas. That's something we haven't done yet either. All right. Oh, oh. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. There's probably going to be some... Well, most of our land area, I mean, it's all pretty high up. So, hopefully there's not going to be flooding or anything, but there's going to be power outages. Let me get a power line over here. Yeah, okay, let's restore power quickly. Okay, what's, what's going on now? Any more loss of power? There's a little bit here. Um, I think that's just because we don't have enough power, but let me see. I mean, it says power production is okay. Oh, we lost this power line. And we certainly need to power up our launch pads. We haven't had a launch in a while, have, have we? Well, uh, not only did our population survive that thunderstorm, uh, we appear to have more population, 54,000 now. So we didn't get, uh, we did get a fire over here. Oh, geez, at the solar power plant and the Grand Mall? Where are our firefighters? Come on. Um, fire department. We need another fire department <laughs> right here. Okay, view of the city, the obnoxious universe center in the background there. Let's see about the crime rate around the place. Uh, there's a lot over here though. 
Do we put a police box? Hmm. Well, let's put one in the that district anyway. No, that helped a little bit. Okay, well, uh, it's not. It's it's easing up thanks to the police box. It's got a patrol uh, car capacity of one compared to ten for the full police station, so it's not obnoxiously weird or anything. Okay, we'll have a police station there. They seem to need it. And we'll just have one close to the fire station there. Everything else seems fine. This is weird. What what has such a high the forestry main building has such high crime rate, geez. Hmm. What kind of crime? Are they stiffing their workers or something? Hmm, K, not the best. Ramp ever. Can we sneak that in there? Well, I'll take that. <laughs> Unconventional, but there we are. There's a backup over here. Too many trucks. Oh, uh, we need. Oh, we got that rail line. Hmm, okay, hold on. <laughs> That's gonna cause problems. Just put the real lines underground. Or above ground in this case, I think we'd be better because we've got a bridge there. Well, hopefully it'll help. We can get a secondary roadway in here. Okay, that's eased up a bit. Any other big traffic problems? I mean, that's the entry to the city. I don't see... I mean, well, of course we've got the train that... But that's going above, isn't it? Isn't it? No, that's going at ground level. Well, that explains that bit. Oh, that's a station. Oops. Oh no, we can't fix that, because that's right there. Sorry, sorry. Ignore all the trains that have derailed here. Oh, there's a lot of residential, man. Let's just ignore that part there for now. Um. Okay, this low density bit. Sorry, guys. It's just not not happening here. Got big boulevard right next to you. It's gonna be used properly. Only 251 students in the School of Tourism and Travel though. But our uh, attractiveness is 994. Long way from 1800 though. RC Sports is really contributing. Hmm. One lost record of four to two is good, but uh, we'll we'll hire a little bit more coaching staff. The income on the last uh, game was pretty good, as long as they play once every month or so. And we'll give a mild cheerleading boost. Keep ticket prices the way they are. Um, hospitality, yes. We'll have a research grant for hospitality since we have a school of tourism and all. Let's get some more residential here. I mean, it's sort of an educational area. We've got the elementary school there. We'll have a high school across the road or something. I want those special health facilities. That's what I want. 
They've got like yoga center somewhere. Sauna. Yeah, sauna. That should be on the main road though. Sorry guys. Uh, this is like a retreat area. Yoga garden, yeah. Yoga garden's expensive. Well, okay. Decrease in students, increase in attractiveness. Let's hope that continues. People are getting sick over here. Um, we need better health facilities, I suppose. I need to look at death care as well. We've got a lot of health facilities. It's just uh, not a good place to live, I think. Sorry. Got a community pool there, too. I mean, you're right next to an ore mine. What what do you expect exactly? Crematorium availability is high. That cemetery usage is also high. Um, can we like empty the cemetery? Does that work? I mean, I uh, just just cremate the lot. What was that, um... We had a garbage area that was emptying. Okay, emptying finished. Alright. Stop emptying. Got a lot of recycling centers, but maybe not quite enough. These guys shouldn't mind in a recycling center up road anyway. I mean, after all, recycling is a thing. Okay. This is a nice place, but Bell Labs, though, surprisingly. Look at that. Really successful area. Interesting, because, you know, I mean, just this residential area surrounded by office space, but there we are. They like that. I think we're at the top level for forestry. Yeah. Our metro carries 1,000 per week. There's a train line, but that's mostly tourists. And then a monorail that carries 45 per week. What is going on? Is it fire? Okay, well, we've got uh, the choppers putting it out. I think probably they'd be into tennis. That's expensive, isn't it? 800 per week. No, I don't want to build a tennis thing. This large tennis club is cheaper. Track and field for Windtown. No, oh, maybe I should invest in the monument or something. Winter Market. Brandenburg Gate. We can build the Statue of Liberty, apparently. In the middle of water? No? Okay. Um, Panda Sanctuary. Oriental Pearl Tower. Temple Complex. And of course, we already have the space shuttle test stand. But we should focus on space elevator things still, I think. Festival area. Oh yeah, there was that sort of thing. Hmm. You know, to be honest, we sort of have a hint of a central park area forming here. Though Boston City is definitely on the opposite side of the tracks, literally. In this case. Hmm. City Arch increases the tourist capacity of roads by 5%. Like everywhere? Well, let's uh, build it. This is our tourist commerce area anyway. Sure. We've spent a lot of money, but we're still not cracking the 55,000 that I want. Stonehenge? Uh, I think that's just the mod. I think we could have more residential here. There's so much office space. I do want to eventually have a park. Um, you know what? Let me bulldoze this one. All right, we're we're gonna start aiming for a park here. City park. 
Well, I've had trouble with these city park things before. But that's what I want. Amusement park. Well, we'll see about that later. City park. And we're gonna make this our park district. Roughly speaking. Not a huge park district. Okay, now... Now we can build a park main gate. And we'll do it opposite that thing. Okay. Uh, we'll have some side gates. Oh, that, I think I put a side gate, is that right? Small park main gate. No, I want... No. No, it doesn't have a main gate. There we go. We'll need some park paths. I don't think it should be straight though. Time for that curve path. Okay. Middle Meadows. I don't actually have a name prepared for this one. Uh, so... We'll go with Middle Meadows for now. Um, Park Plaza. Park Cafe. Restrooms near the cafe, please. Info booth close to the entry. Oh, uh, we've got some expense here. Have another cafe here with restrooms. Well, we'll see. We should get the next level. We don't have any visitors, though. Policies. Well, animal ethics. Main park. Yeah, sure, why not. Fine for fireworks, sure. Every night, yeah. Oh, no, I, I thought it meant fine, okay for fireworks, not not fining for fireworks. Recycle garbage, sure. Oh, that's nature reserve, though. We got some visitors. But our city population has gone down. I mean... I don't understand, really. We put in more residential area. Well, they're not occupying it yet. I don't know what it is they want. What do you want from me? Well, this this place needs some power. Um, we'll move some more of the those power things, turbines. Not enough goods to sell. There's a lot of that going on. Well, I tried to get a train line and bring in the stuff from oh we, we don't have enough power here oh oh that's a problem isn't it from outside and we've built industries and everything though so, not enough natural resources yeah I don't know they're still working It never did get to the next level. It's close though. How's the glass manufacturing plant doing? It's making glass. What's this now? Ready for rebuild? Oh, rebuild that. Our weekly education expenses are like through the roof. And... Well, the policies are pretty bad too, but... But then here it says total profit is 6,000 from campus areas, uh, negative 6,000. So the campus area is only 6,000 of total education expenses. Okay, let me just take a look at what education is going on here. I heard a sound. High school barely has any anything going for it. We need more high schools. Here, you guys can have a high school. 
Okay, I don't want to bulldoze the graveyard. I just wanted to make sure that it'll have some space. Just in case. Lots of abandoned stuff. I'll just extend that thing. Make sure they're included. That seems to help, I think. Well, we're up to 10-10 on the campus attractiveness. It's gonna take some time, though. I'm gonna create some residences in the middle. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We'll find out. Water. Oh. Well, that would be important, wouldn't it? Alright, well, we've progressed somewhat, but... I haven't gotten to 55,000 as I wanted by the end of this episode, but it's definitely time to call it an episode. We got some extra peoples, but not as many as I wanted. We have a city park. We have things. We have a little hippie area. And we have another town down here, Picard Beach. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.